okay um let me quickly show you how to apply um how to apply the 3d voxel uh, tab um, how to apply it to in order to modify some of the 3d views um, you might have actually voxel is for a very interesting uh, a very interesting uh, module uh, analysis montage this is a, a, a montage 6.4 uh, is older version so I will show you how you can actually do that by okay if you look at this tab here um, this is a generality model actually this entire field that was actually prepared in 3D you can see you can actually view the whole side and all that even from here you will see where you have uh, I guess, normally show you up there um, definitely at the suffix, it might not come up because the suffix doesn't show more than the abilities. Um, if you look at the tab here, you have the X, Y, and Z. You can have your control here. These are different controls. And, uh, but the one we're actually most interested is this. Now, if you look at this, um, you can control your data, the amount of data that will actually show up. Now, for me to actually see where we have the interesting thing is that we have the highest tradability within this line. You see, if you look at here, the highest is here is 447, and what we have here, this way decreasing. So you can use this tab actually to control the you know the numbers. You can also want to say, you can also type 100. You know. 100, this is 100. You can see where the tangibilities within 100 are restricted. You know? Now, you can see the sections. Section 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, looking at this section like this, you might not actually get the best option where you have a um, very high reading. So, but using this tab, you can actually control that easily when it's prepared in 3D. And what we have here is about, uh, I think, about 11 sections, you know. Um, so, you can see this is 100. That means from 100 to 47, you know. And also, you can also use this to control your Y, you know, the Y. You can see, you see, the amount of Y, but actually, we are not actually interested in that. Uh, you can also use this to control your Z, you know. Z is your depth. If you want to filter out the depth, you can say, um, you know, you say it minus. You can say you want to see everything from a depth of 40 meters and you want to see everything within 200, all the visibility within 200. See, wow, anything that is not less than 200, you can see it, you know, and you can see the, this is actually where you have the text options for you, you can view it actually and see, you can see this line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the seventh line, it's showing you one of my infected um, accumulations of high utilities here. And you can also um, do this. Uh, you can see within 40, you can say, okay, let's see something within, within 70, 80. So you can actually control here this way. You see? The more you do that. Now, if you say you want to see something, is there anything at lower surface? 20. You see, there is nothing at 20. And nothing at 20. So this will actually let you know where you started seeing the real thing. You know, you see, it starts from, from 45. So 45, 40, or there about. You can see that is just it. 40, 45. That is where you started seeing changes. You can see 50. The real changes. So the main thing in realization here is yes, that surface. So 50. And you can see where you have the highest concentration. 
So that is the essence. This is how you can actually use um, the 3D uh, voxel uh, time to modify, modify all your data and view what you want to view and remove what you want to remove. So even some of the sections here, you can actually also change them. You can make some of the sections transparent. Make them to come out very, very clear. Uh, that it does it. Um, if you look at here, you can also use it to change your skill. Uh, skill. Let's assume you have something like two. Uh, you see the skill has increased. So I'll scale that. Uh, put it back to one. You see this one. Two. You see. Actually scale in y direction so you can also use this to uh, change this to two see so this is in terms of your scale x y so let's put it back to one and also full render you can also do that um, this this uh, See, this is all that actually all the all the lines that actually evolve. For example, the line seven. If this is the line seven. Look at this. You know, these are the things we loaded. Line seven for IP. You can see line seven. We are loading two profiles here, both IP and persistivity are actually being loaded in that particular location. You can see it. You see how it's changing. You see, if you want to see, compare resistivity and IP in the same location, um, for example, you can see, now, let's remove this data, for example, if you want to remove all this. Now, we want to look at these changes around this, around this line 7. So, let's see what we are saying, okay, so we'll go back again to uh, our section, you see this is 7, pick 7, and if you want to make if you look at it, this is 7 IP, but what is actually showing here is a resistivity section. So the two are in the same place. So we want to compare. You see? Are you seeing the changes? Are you seeing IP has actually appeared? Are you seeing it? If you make it non-transparent, are you seeing? So you can see our resistivity here, and you can see how we well have a kind of I credibility are you seeing the correlation around there? Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? So now this is what we have as IP. If I remove it, this is what we have as uh, ERT. So the same thing applies to all, all the lines. So you can actually match them at the same. Then also can match them, can match so many things in 3D and try to see how you can view them for, for the best uh, implementation. So thank you, you can actually forward your questions after that and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please.